Hey, what's up, Paul here, and today I'm actually going to give you a tutorial of the forms section inside of Kartra, so you can fully understand how how you can get the most out of this section. Now, every time you build an opt-in or every time you build in, um, you can kind of see here, this has got an example, anything where you're gathering data from a client or from somebody on your website or your landing page, then you are gonna to need to create a form. And then what you can do is when you actually create that form on the page, you can then select the form from here. So um, I'm actually gonna, sh I've shown that on the pages section how you actually do that, but you can actually see here that when you go and create a page, um, and actually if you wanna import a form or import a form or anything, then when you actually go to edit it and connect it, you have to select one of these forms. So in a lot of ways you work backwards. Quite often you'll create the form first before you create the page. So if you know you're needing to have an opt-in, then you would come here first. So a um, couple of ninja tricks I'm gonna show you um, so you can actually get the most out of your forms. And also I'm gonna show you through every single feature inside of here. So one of the ninja tricks here is if you go to, if I just go to edit here, okay, I'm actually gonna talk you through a form. Now obviously if you wanna create a new one, you would go on the right hand side, there was a big green button. So um, actually let's do that. Let's go and create a new form. So this, this big green button here, we would go and create a form. So I'm just gonna call this Kartra Funnel Builder, so KFB, um, which is obviously the chicken that came before KFC by the look of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know that's not funny at all, but I'm gonna leave it in because it amused me. But um, so yeah, so basically then we come to here and this is the form, right? Now you, um, you can obviously select what fields you have so you can either save it as is or you can add fields, you can add new fields. Now, one of the things that I like to do um, is where it says first name and email address, okay, I like to put in, I like to make that, um, yeah, you have to obviously select the identifier, then you put in what actually appears in the actual text. I like to make those both capitals, so I leave that one and I keep it as mandatory. And by grabbing a first name off people, that means that when you send them emails, you can actually um, address them by their first name. You can actually select a little bit of code and put it in. So sort of, hi, Paul, hi, John. So I always like to get a first name. Um, you can obviously don't have to do that. You can just grab an email address. You can obviously add in lots of other fields. So you can, you know, middle name, last name, company, phone, address, anything you want really. So you can kind of use this to gather a lot of data. And you can actually use this, I think, it, um, Let's have a look. I've never tried it, but let's see if you can actually just add a box. No, uh, or maybe you can. How about that? So you could use actually Kartra if you want to actually create a custom form and have a, actually gather data before you, for instance, like if you were creating an online booking system and you had you wanted to actually pre-qualify people before they go to the booking system, so you actually want to grab, gather some data you can actually use Kartra for all your form software. So there's lots of kind of form softwares out there you don't need with Kartra, which is really cool. So again, I've never used this and I actually use something else. So I may start using this. I may give that a go. So, um, but obviously initially what I normally do is I'll grab first name and email address. Now the ninja trick I'm gonna show you here is where it says identifier, okay. Um, a lot of people when they opt in, now depending on what your opt-in is, um, if they're actually going to receive that actual thing in their email address, then obviously that's fine just to put email address because they're going to need to put in their correct email address or the, the email address that they normally use to receive the thing that they're opting in for. However, in a lot of cases, we forward them to the thing. So for instance, like for a webinar, they'll opt in for a webinar, but then we just forward them to an, an auto webinar, for instance. Um, and what people are kind of getting wise to is, is they now know that they are going to, that's gonna happen. So you quite often you'll get fake email addresses and you'll get people like, especially if they're not quite sure, and your landing page is quite basic, you get a lot of this. In fact, I do this. I actually either give a fake email address or I give an email address that I don't normally use. If it's something I'm not sure about, I just wanna check it out, I just wanna see. So, um, and a lot of your indoctrination will come from sending them emails afterwards. And obviously if they've put in a fake email address, you're not gonna get the email. So what you can do here, okay is i put best email address and then you can actually still you can put more in here so you can actually put something like um this is where we send 
your access links. Something like that. Now, there's a couple of things here because the, the brain doesn't overthink this. So when they see this, um, they're not going to kind of overthink it. They're just going to go, they're going to see the word best. So they're going to think, okay, best email address. And then they're going to see this, okay? And then they're going to think, okay, I better put my main email address in. I can always unsubscribe, right? But this is actually gold. This actually makes sure you get much better emails. And I actually get way fewer opt-ins of people without giving uh, fake email addresses by putting something like this in. So that's, that's a little ninja trick that you can use. Okay, so we're going to basically um, press save on that. And then we're going to move forward. So to do that, we press save. Okay, and then we need, again, this is where we have to kind of quite often work backwards because what we're going to need now is a confirmation page. So um, we can obviously, oh, sorry, first of all, we do the single opt-in or the double opt-in. Now, I always do single opt-in. Now, double opt-in just means that obviously they will have to, they will get sent an email to confirm. Now, this does reduce, uh, I've split tested both and there's been a lot of top marketers that have split tested both both obviously if you do the double opt-in that means you're getting an email address otherwise they don't opt in um, and it's actually their email address but obviously this kind of creates a, a slight barrier so i'll leave that up to you but we have found that you get much better um, conversions with this single opt-in um, and again, it, 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 again, there's no cookie cutter solution here. Like it really does depend on what you're doing. If you really like only want email addresses that are valid for a specific reason, then obviously you can use the double opt-in. Um, and then on the next one, you've got the welcome. And here is um, where you would actually select your page. So again, this is kind of, you kind of have to go slightly backwards and forwards in Kartra to do this. Um, but what I normally do is I'll make a note um, if I've already created the page, I'll obviously select it. So if we go to Kartra Pages, we'd select, if there's a site, um, we'd select the site. If not, we just select the page. I'm just gonna select any one of my pages, okay, for this. And then if I haven't already created a page, this won't let you go forward and it actually will, it will just say incomplete. But you can actually leave it as incomplete, make a note, or you can select another page, go back, create the page and come back and do it. So you would obviously do that there. And then you would go save and next. Now, uh, you can obviously, you can create a welcome message or you can send them into an automation. So here you can obviously leave this. If you're going to basically, when they opt in for this, you can apply a tag, okay, which actually sends them an automation from the communications. Now I'm gonna create another video all about communications. Um, but again, if you're only literally, your only objective here is to get them to opt in, there's no automation, there's no tag, there's no sequence coming out, then you can actually just send them an email from within this form. You can actually set one up and it will actually come up with, I'll show you, um, you obviously you would choose your email gateway and I'll show you that, that comes in the integrations down here. And then obviously you can create an email like you normally would. You can do it with the advanced features, with the design templates, with your own templates, or you can do basic there. Um, but what I'm actually gonna do is I am going to change that to don't send any email because um, this is just a test. And then this is how you would apply a tag. Now, if you want them to actually be subscribed to an email list up here, so I'm just gonna quickly jump over here. I'm not gonna show you that in this video because I'm gonna do a separate one for each one. But if you wanna see the, the video here, so say for instance, you've got a sequence here that you want them to subscribe to, okay? You can actually then select the sequence. So we go back to forms. Okay, I'm just gonna go to edit. We, um, we're incomplete, we actually left that. And then, We'll go all the way along to automation. So what you can do here is if you want, if you are going to subscribe them to a list or subscribe them to a sequence, and obviously you'd make sure that you do not send them a welcome email because you can actually send them that here, right? Or you can send them a welcome email and then have the automation start a day later or something like that or later that day. Um, but what you can do here is you can assign a tag. Now I do all of my automations via tags, but there's many ways to skin a cat inside of Kartra. You can do lots of things, lots of different ways. I'm gonna show you the way I do it. And then you can actually see here, you can do advanced automation. So you can set things up based on how you want. Um, and there is actually um, an automations section, which uh, I'm trying to think where it is because I don't use it very often, but I'll be covering that in another video. But in the automation section, you can literally set up automations to do anything you want based on anything. If somebody lands on a page, you can subscribe them to a sequence. If somebody lands on a page, you can 
like delete a membership you know you can do absolutely anything inside of here i'm not going to show you that in this one because we're going to be going through the automations i'm going to show you how i do it with tags so um for instance with this one let's say for instance this is my one funnel away challenge or my sam cart or my vsl cart let's say it's a vsl cart okay and we're going to go vsl opted in okay and then what will happen is is that say for instance i've got this set in my um my sequence that when this tag's fired it starts so we'll add that in but what i also do just to make sure is i will subscribe them to the sequence okay so you don't even need to assign a tag if you don't want to you could subscribe them to a sequence regardless of just opting in um, but i obviously like to know what people are up to so i give them a tag and i also subscribe them to the sequence and i'll also in that communication i'll put uh, um, a thing in in the actual in the actual sequence that says that they've that tag's been fired so it kind of just ticks boxes in lots of different ways and then again we would go to vsl vsl welcome okay so that would be that one i'm actually going to delete this afterwards otherwise they're going to get people are going to opt in and get random stuff um, and then obviously this is advanced automations and you can literally like i say i'm not going to show you too much about this but you can set your uh starting and obviously the only one you can set is lead fills in this form for this and then you can literally do anything on here you want to and in advanced automations um in the actual automation field you can actually um let's just save that off yeah um you can actually set lots of different automations lots of, on lots of different actions so we'll go save and next on that okay and then in form design here you um can embed it you can actually um, in a Kartra page, Kartra video or Kartra calendar, you can do that or you can embed the form on your own site. Now, if you're using Kartra calendar, you would select this one. Okay. Otherwise, I select that one. Okay. Um, actually, no, Kartra page. If Yeah, sorry. If you're embedding it in a Kartra page anywhere on Kartra, select this one. If you're embedding it on your own site, you can select this one and it will give you a HTML code. So you can actually use a WordPress site, a ClickFunnels site, anything like that. And you can embed this actual form anywhere so i always pretty much use kartra so i'm going to select that there whenever i use click funnels or wordpress i tend to use the other forms for that anyway so but you obviously it depends what you're doing so you click save there and then you go, and then that's it you're done now that form can now be used in a page and i will quickly show you very quickly just to wrap this up so i'll show you we're just going to create a page we're going to choose a template and I'm gonna use a squeeze page with an opt-in. Okay, this is it. We're gonna select this launch builder, and then we're gonna call this K Cartra Funnel Builders. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that all. No site, no category. There we go. We'll just delete that straight away <laughs> as soon as we're done. And you can obviously, you can go to the pages um, video that I've created to show you how to kind of change all the page but all I want to show you on here is how to change this form so you would just go to edit style here and then you would select your opt-in form and we have now got uh, we just went past it I'm going too fast there it is that's the form and then that will opt in that will subscribe them to the sequence that will forward them to the page that we agreed and it will also send them the emails from the sequence so that's all done so now we're just going to return to dashboard and i'm actually going to have to log into a dummy account because i don't want to reveal sensitive data but i'm actually going to go into forms I'm actually going to show you some analytics i'm actually going to show you the analytics that you can see for your form so bear with me a second so as you'll see, I'm in a different account here. This is a dummy account that we use. Um, you'll actually see that you'll actually get the analytics here for your forms, all your forms. Now, this actually shows you, this is some testing I've done. Somebody's obviously opted in. Um, but this actually shows you all the different forms you've got, all the subscriptions. You can actually choose via days. You can choose via uh, weeks. You can choose via uh, last seven days. You can choose via last year you know you can kind of choose all the data you can get and you can actually choose via your form as well so you can kind of mess around with this and you actually see all of your analytics you can actually see 
um, which forms are working. So if you're split testing pages, maybe you've got two pages with one, two different forms leading to different places or two different forms with actually slightly different information being gathered then you can actually split test and see what's working on those pages, which I, again, I'll show you again in another section how you split test pages. But that is how you, uh, that is literally how you um, get gather all the data. You can actually see what's happening. You can do this in all the sections. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.